want you to stand absolutely still for 30 seconds. Now, I'm standing here yeah. talking and moving my mouth, kind of moving my head a little bit, and it's not trick. And now I think you triggered it. I was doing this. Yeah. And so OG triggered it. <laughs> We're going to stand here for 30 seconds, absolutely still. I know that's tough for OG. And I can talk and it won't trigger. I'm moving my mouth and then I move my hand and it doesn't re-trigger. But you can see we stand still in full the millimeter wave sensor since I guess it's probably only five gigahertz and not like the 24 and other higher gigahertz frequencies that we see in others. So it's not really that good for presence, but um, it's kind of better than PIR. And we are cranked up to the highest sensitivity. Let's see if we can get this close. Get this close. Stand still for 30 seconds. Now, let's see if I can move my hand. Oh, now see a little closer, you do move your hand, but you can fool it as you can see sitting here with just standing by the sensor. So it's not the best thing for like if you're sitting watching a movie or something like that and being able to trigger the sensor. So one test I wanted to try is you can't do this with a PIR sensor because a PIR sensor has to be able to see the heat change. With an MM wave, should be able to go through something like a cardboard box. Like right here. So it still does work through the cardboard box, as you can see. You definitely won't get that with a PIR sensor, but I'm trying to think of where I would use this unless maybe I'm just trying to hide this sensor like behind something that, you know, is not metal. So I guess there's the advantage to that, but um, I'm not really seeing what the advantage of this is in this current state versus the regular PIR sensor. They seem um, fairly close in response time and everything. The PIR is not going to be impacted by a ceiling fan like the MM Wave would, but I guess they kind of have their own uses, and it's definitely just one of those things you have as a you know a tool in the toolbox for whenever you're trying to do some sort of home automation with a motion sensor. But do keep in mind, this is not going to do what you think on the whole MM wave where it just detects you sitting there on the couch or wherever else in the house that you may sit still for a while, but still want to be, if you're, hey, going to keep that light on or maybe trigger some sort of um, fart fan. Now, I will say having it in this small form factor is pretty cool, you know, since it is battery. The light's blinding you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did want to, so it is double A's on the back and it's a fairly small sensor, you know, given the size of the double A's, there's three double A's on it. And I've been using this for, since we got back from CES and it hasn't, the battery has like gone down like I think a percent or two. So it's definitely going to live out, you know, being able to show it and do it on battery and not have to wire the thing up. But it, don't expect what you're going to get off of other MM Wave. And yes, I'm sorry, that's just stuck in the brain. I'm always going to call them MM Wave or M&M Waves might be better. This is the first I think I've seen that is a battery style, but it is 5 gigahertz. It's not going to be your 24 or 60 gigahertz style. And you'll see there's a few drawbacks, as you can see in the intro, that we're able to stand still and it not trigger. So, but I will say that ceiling fans do keep this one triggered, just like you see on others. So there's no um, getting away from the whole ceiling fan issue. Now, the cool thing is this one does use double A's. And since CES a few months ago, I've been using this sensor and it only dropped a few percent. So it's going to be, you know, really cool that you can throw this in a bathroom or something like that. But where that's going to be a drawback is you're not going to be able to like, hey, 
I want to put it to see if someone's sitting on the toilet for, you know, a couple minutes or whatever. And they're sitting absolutely still. Well, they're probably going to trigger it and the light's going to go off and they're going to have to do the whole wave around again, just like you would with the PIR stuff. Now, I will say third reality. I love a lot of their stuff. I really waited I saw the talk, they talk about this like last year. If they were when they were going to release this, he had like a prototype. They need a year later brought it to CES, so it was cool to see. But I still think it needs a bit of work. It pairs up. I've used it with Zigbee to MQTT. They say it works with a bunch of other ecosystems out there, like because it, it's just Zigbee. So should work with a lot of different things. Now, would I get it over a regular PIR, which is based off of heat and everything? Maybe it just, it's another tool in the toolbox where I would wanna be able to pick up a person, but I'm still gonna have to work in some sort of logic of, hey, this is gonna have to be on a time because of someone standing still, et cetera. So you're gonna have to base that, like is that person gonna move enough, like say within three minutes of trying to turn on a light. So that's the kind of drawback there. Um, there's a couple things I'll show in the GUI of this with Zigbee to MQTT, but there's pretty not, there's nothing really for you to configure because everything is on the configuration up here is the minus and plus if you want to change you can see right here changing the sensitivity is right here on the sensor itself so it's nothing really inside of your software it's just going to give you that occupancy sensor just based off of here and i think you also get the battery as well um but that's pretty much it on this one if you do want to pick up this Third reality, MM Wave sensor, and try it out with your Zigbee stuff. You can definitely find the link down below. Of course, Third Reality just gave this to me at CES. There was no additional funds exchanged for that. They don't pay me the same thing. And I, we definitely keep it unbiased as always. So definitely check out some of the other Third Reality stuff, like say their light bulbs, their plugs, their PIR sensors. They make some really great products that I really like that they have everything integrated in Zigbee to MQTT and other things, and they support all the DIY different ecosystems out there. So that about do it for this one. I do appreciate you checking this one out, and I forgot the whole thing. Oh, see, I'm just, just, the, the, I'm, I'm blinded by the light. That's what it is. So how, what what we do? Press all the buttons. Oh, 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 oh here, we, here we go. Okay. Press all the buttons. Oh, I was supposed to say that, bro. Right? He's been that long. <laughs> He's been working on his, his own YouTube channel too long, right? And I'll say, press all the buttons. And y'all take care. There we go. <sighs> like old school.